Okay, today we are going to install this pixel in our Next.js TypeScript app. This is the pixel that I just installed in the Events Manager, and you can see here that it's tracking both page views and purchases. This is the Next.js app that we're going to be integrating it into. And let's just do some tests here. If we refresh the page, we should see a new page view. There it is. New page view in the pixel. And then we can also, if we connect our wallet here, if I connect my Ethereum wallet, this is also integrated with some Web3 libraries. And I click this Mint button. There's another Facebook event hooked up to that Mint button that considers that a purchase. So you can see we just had a purchase event here. Technically, no one made a purchase, but they did click the purchase button uh, more accurately. But those are the two events that we're going to set up. So let's go ahead and look at the code of how we're going to set this up. The first resource that we want is we want to take a look at the actual Next.js repo, and they have this library of examples in here. So we can go to the examples folder and then look for this Facebook pixel example. And I've gone ahead and downloaded this whole Next.js repo so we have access to this because this is the code that we're going to integrate into our Next.js app. So here's the Next.js repo here. We'll go into examples. And then it's with Facebook Pixel. No. With Facebook Pixel, there we go. We'll open up these files. And then let's open this up in our code editor as well. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. We have first this lib, we have a lib. So we want to create a lib directory at some point. Let's just run through everything we have here. We have a lib directory with this pixel code here. And you can see that this is a dynamic variable that is going to be filled in based on what we put in our environment file. So we'll go into that in a little bit. We also have this const here that is tracking a page view using the Facebook pixel. And then we have some configuration settings regarding the pixel event, another pixel event for tracking. Now going into the pages in our app file, we have a good amount of code that we need to put in here, including some imports, this pixel import. We're also using the router in this use effect function, which has a page view event in here. Okay, then we have our actual meta tag for the pixel. And you can see that in this, uh, there's a certain formatting, you need to include these brackets if you're pasting it in this section of the app file. You can't just copy and paste the script tag that is given to you by Facebook. You do need to format it in this specific way. They also provide this document file. I just copy and pasted this document file um, into my repo as well. Then in the index file, we also have an example purchase event that's hooked up to an on-click event on a button. So that's how I use this code to hook this up to the mint button, the purchase button on my website. And then in the navigation, there is, there's actually nothing, but it will um, trigger a page view because of this document file. Okay, so the last file we need to go into is, you can see they set an example environment file here. So this is where we input our pixel ID. So we can go into the events manager and I can get my pixel ID right here. Or oh, that's actually my ad account ID. Here's the pixel ID right here. So I copy that and then paste this, not into this environment uh, dot local dot example, but we want to just create dot env dot local and then paste in our ID there. So now I'll go ahead and show you how I integrated these, the code here into my TypeScript Next.js app. So let's go over to that code. This is the Frug website, which by the way, is a web app that is hooked up with Ethereum. It's an NFT project uh, created with AI art. All right, so looking at this, we can go over to the app file, which is one of the files that we have from our example. And here I've inputted some of the 
imported some of the scripts that we need for the pixel. I added in the use effect code from the example with, that has the page view event here. And, and then I also inputted the script tag given to us from the Next.js example. I also added into my pages, my pages directory the exact same document file that was provided. And then in the index file, I believe we also did an import. And there may be a page view event on here. There's this handle click function, but I believe I did not end up using this here um, because I ended up, I have a different component for the purchase button. So we can go over to the purchase button. This is the mint NFT button. So you can see here, here's the purchase button. And on click, we're calling this handle click function, which calls another function I needed to call and then also calls the Facebook event purchase. So this is where our purchase event is working from. And then the other thing that we did here was we brought over the lib directory is in our main directory and we have the pixel code exactly the same as it was given in the um, in the Facebook next example. So the last thing that we need to do here, those are all of the integrations other than the environment file. And for local development, I do have it in here, um, my Facebook pixel ID. But also if you're deploying this online, then you need to have that environment variable wherever you're deploying. So I'm using Vercel to deploy this website. So if we go into the Frug Vercel repo and then go into environment variables, you can see down here, I have my Facebook pixel ID in here. So that way when the app is deployed, it's still able to access that specific ID. Otherwise it won't be able to populate it back to your account. And that is how we set up the pixel event into a Next.js app. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, I'd be happy to help you in the comments below. And I will also post links in the description to the Next.js example. And thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe to find more web development and AI tutorials. Thanks.